Hello and welcome. So today I'm going to be doing a video on my pond. It's been about a month, month and a half-ish since I did a video on it. And that was when things were just warming up outside. Since then it's warmed up quite considerably and things are growing. I've got more plants. It's looking nicer and I'm enjoying it. This is going to be a quick overview into the pond. Uh, just so you can kind of see what it is I'm doing with the pond. Or how everything's organized and set up. So we're going to start with the first section, which is basically the filter box or hole. So it's kind of capped with this dish with um, Creeping Jenny on the top. With some, I think it has some dirt and some capped gravel. Now, I think there's a couple holes to let water flow in. Now below that's actually a bunch of lava rock, as well as the return for the pump. Um, this kind of helps create the whole waterfall you're seeing right there. Now it flows over into the section, second section, which is full of goldfish. This is basically my goldfish pond. Originally, it was this upper section was designed to be like a bog filter type thing, just crammed full of plants. Um, that pretty much has just become my goldfish pond. There is a water lily in here. He has not grown yet. He's doing something, but he's not growing up to the top. It's kind of irritating. But, uh, you know, it's it's doing good. I'm enjoying it. It's, there's still quite a few plants up here, but not as many as I'd like. I do like a lot of plants in my pond. Now, this third section down here is basically my koi section of the pond. It's doing really nice. There's considerably more plants down here, but they don't do as much because they don't get as much flow. I'll actually go and explain that to you guys a little bit before I end this video. So come down here around. Now this is just a simple plant box, just to give it a bit of a backdrop, so it's not just the pond liner and stuff. It looks nicer. Some of these plants should hang down, get to the water surface, which should look cool. Now basically the whole premise behind this upper section of the pond when I was designing it was basically to have the waterfall here, and it kind of created this L shape. Now the nice thing about this L shape is the water has to flow all the way through here to get to this waterfall right here. So what's really nice about that is that if I put plants pretty much anywhere in this L, they're going to get a lot of water flow. It should grow really quickly, as well as filter the water out, just so it, you know, makes the water healthier for all the fish and decreases algae. Um, and I might do some, kind of show you guys some of the plants that I have. Most of these are just really typical pond plants. You can really get it up, well, ideally you can get any nursery. A um, couple water lilies. Now some of the key plants that I'd really like to point out to you guys are actually going to be the water lettuce. And there's actually there's a water hyacinth. Yeah, I think it's water hyacinth, which is right down here. These are really key plants to have in ponds, in my opinion, because they grow very quickly and have deep reaching roots. And this is a really excellent plant to help filter your water and help keep it clean for all your fish. So if you're setting up a pond, I would recommend getting some or look at getting some. I only got one of each of these this year because last year I had well, literally my pond could have been entirely filled with these plants. So just a quick overview of the pond. Um, as always, subscribe to my channel to get all the latest content. I'll leave a comment in the video suggesting future video ideas. I would like to do some more tutorial videos as well as just some how-tos. So just subscribe to my channel just so you can see all of that. Leave the comments so you can suggest your ideas. I want to know what you guys want to do or want me to do or what to show you. Um, whatever it may be, I really want to be open to that because I really want to answer you guys' questions and get you into this hobby which is fish keeping so also check out the description for the link to my uh, blog site where I actually put more content up than on there that doesn't necessarily make a video and go on my main uh, YouTube channel so uh, as always just have a nice day guys and uh, we'll see you soon bye